Hi everyone, my name is Della Phillips, also known as the Bicycle Lady. How you doing today? Now, uh, you looking at this, you may think, what in the world is she gonna do? Do you need pliers to draw with, or do you want a pound on the paper to draw with, or what is going on? Well, let's get right to it so you can find out what this is for. Okay, let's go. Uh, first of all, I'm going to remove a few items. And essentially what this is, is a collection of items to draw from the last step using the same type of techniques. As you know, I had a uh, wire. This is armature wire, which is aluminum. And I like 15 to 18 inches. Now you can use long pipe cleaners as I showed before, or if you have solid copper wire that holds its shape, it's up to you. Basically, you want to be able to bend shapes that you can use. Now, if I'm looking here, my camera's up above, so you won't see the same thing. If I turn it here, you're going to see exactly what I'm seeing to draw. I do apologize, the last video did seem a little light with the number two pencil I was using. And I apologize for that. So I'll keep on trying to use something darker, uh, that's much uh, like possibly uh, an ebony, but I have plenty of these, which I really love using. I got them off of Amazon. They're the Musgrave 600 News. It's, it's very similar to an, an ebony pencil, a little bit less sheen. I like them a lot. So I have quite a bit of that, or I'll use a felt tip marker, okay? So, essentially what I did was took the pencil tip and went around this wire shape that was created either by you randomly as you can or by someone else. And someone else creating your wire shapes make it even more interesting because you do have a propensity to bend certain ways and end up with similar shapes. At least that's what I found with myself. And then after you do that for at least eight times, now you can touch the wire or just, and basically you want your eye. Take it nice and slow. You don't need to speed up and jump. Just slowly go through it. Make sure your eye and the tip of your pencil is one. And going along this shape. You do that eight times, like I said last time. And then you can then draw it on a piece of paper and do the best that you can. And I've been doing that. And I know it's been a while, it's been over seven days since my last video. But I have been doing that. One of the things I found was initially I was going along and going, I'm doing these exercises. And I do other things as well, drawing and, and some painting and stuff I'm working on. And I started noticing, I said, wow, I'm getting worse. I can't seem to get the, lay down the, the shape that well, or get the, it's taking me a lot more erasers, and this is kind of like, I was getting worried. But I had confidence, so I continued on with the practices, and I got to this and started those practices as well as when I was finding edges. I went back and did more and more of that, which helps you see and also develop hand-eye coordination. Now I found that I've gotten past that point and it's easier for me to come down with the shapes. I, the shapes are more defined. I have less, uh, you know, feathery type marks and they're more defined. And I, I get to the shape I need quicker with less erasers. So definitely I've made progress. May not seem like that much, but definitely I've made progress. So. Maybe the reason why I had that period I was breaking, uh, maybe a bad habit, I don't know. But that's what I experienced. Uh, let me know if you're working along with me, what your experiences are, or if you've had other type of experiences in the past, please share them. I will respond promptly to all comments, so feel free to comment below. So the next step is I'm going to continue doing some of the wire shapes what it is when I'm done with the shape because I turn it all different ways and then I unbend it straighten out best I can 
and get it ready for another bend and then we'll start working on it that way. However, I have these collection of items that I picked up. Some uh, fake fruit. I don't have any where I ate all the real fruit, so uh, it might be an excuse if you don't have fake uh, artificial fruit that it gives you an excuse to buy uh, real fruit and then you can eat your models, as they say. But anyway, I picked up several things. Also, kitchen gadgets are good with various shapes. And what I'm going to do with this is, let's see, should I go with a fruit, a hammer, or pliers? I think I'm going to use pliers this time. So I'm going to do fruit. Hmm. Let's do the pliers. They have sharper edges, but you can do the same thing what I'm going to be doing. It's basically what I showed in the wire before. Is you can take your pencil and even rest it on the fruit or just hover right above it. And then, and then I see this shape going down and down and around and back up. And then I have some internal. There's the light, a little shape in there, and then down along here, definitely, you can see the shadow shape coming into being with a little bit of reflective there. So you can go through, even though you're doing contour line, and do all the internal structures. But I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put those to the side right now. Bring up a piece of paper. And here's my pliers. Let's see. Do I'm um, totally closed? You can do them any way you want. I think I'm going to turn it slightly like this. Let's see if we can get this all in here. Okay, I think that would be good. So, essentially, I'm not going to do eight times here. I am going to be remiss, and I apologize ahead of time. But essentially, you want to go through... And just like you did the wire, try not to move it like I was moving it. Where you can get all the shapes in here, I would come back down and so forth. And then you would go to your sheet of paper. And this is my very black. And the paper I'm using is uh, the vellum surface. Some call it called cardstock Bristol. They're very close. Printer paper. I got a very great deal. Got a full ream of it. Actually cheaper than I could buy drawing paper that's Bristol. And so I've been using it for practice. It's wonderful. Very nice velvety surface. I use um, two Spring Hill. So, need more information, let me know. And it's uh, 67 pounds. And keep in mind that if you're talking about Bristol or cardstock for printers, when you say 67 pounds, that is different than 67 pounds in just a single uh, drawing paper. And um, there was uh, uh, some people who described that uh, is very much into color book, and they've done such a good job. I'm not just not going to get into it unless it, there is a big requirement. Now you can lift up your pencil, pencil, if you want. I am not going to be too worried about getting all the proportion. Exactly the way that normally would indicate a very realistic type drawing. Instead, as you saw here, I just drew a circle. So I just popped that. And those are the inner. 
and then I can go back over and put in the gradiated teeth. Now here, because I'm looking from this side, you're looking from above. If I were to, let me see, turn this, you may be able to see more of what I am seeing. Or it would be more like this. But let me put this back down relatively where it was. And then here, let me get this. Oh, I think I got that a little bit out of place. I'm not saying you can't use erasers. I guess I shouldn't have broke my train of thought there. I was kind of in a roll. But we'll get back into the groove. Alright. So this needs to go here. And this can go here. I'll go slightly like this. Some of this wouldn't be exact, but what they say, it's, it's good enough for government work? I don't know about that, but it's practice. And like I said, I am not going to go super realistic on this. My thing is to be able to have my eye over here most of the time as if I have my, my eye and the pencil point joined together going down this and instead have my pencil point over here going down even though I can glance occasionally at this this okay not bad and then of course we have this next one and uh Here, I think that's a bit much. Oh, by the way, um, this is uh, one of my favorite uh, pencils. It's old; they're no longer made. It's Magic Rub by Stanford. Uh, you can get a Mitsubishi uh, medium. They say they call it medium soft. That is quite good too. Uh, those are readily available. Uh, through various stationery, including online at Amazon. But I, I mainly use that. It's very close to this. There's a slight difference, but I have these. I bought mm, over a dozen and a half that was left. I believe it was from Blick uh, when they when it was announced that they were no longer going to be made and sold. So I just kind of stocked up. I kind of went overboard, but eh, I'm kind of glad I did. I had a couple of people that finally got convinced me to uh, sell them. They begged and begged enough that I went ahead and and uh, sold them a few. I'm not doing that anymore since we found a replacement. I got out of the plot there. Out of my groove. But, but. And again, what I'm doing here is I want to be able to basically to follow. Yeah, 
eyes. And really get this a good continuous line. You really do need to draw, have the imaginary line that you're going here, across here. Notice when we did the line exercises, you pract I practiced going to that and encourage everyone who's joining me on this journey to practice the lines like this. And even though there's not one there, and you can see me putting it in, showing a little bit up. I don't know if you can see it with the pencil. You do that because then, the kind, it's time to draw it. You draw it very lightly. But it's a continuous line. That way you don't have anything uh, like it's starting up here and this one's starting down there. I love the shape of it. And like this here, it needs a smooth. And I just draw across. And I follow this down. And then I'm going to put in this here. So essentially that looks not too bad. A little bit of erasing. I guess I better take that line, extra line out. So that's not too bad for this. It's not absolutely, probably should. Well, now you're seeing my, I'm constantly wanting to adjust things. And you, I need to get out of that habit. Out of here. But. Reality, that is not too bad. I mean, it's not absolutely realistic, but overall, yeah, I forgot about this. It's not that bad. <laughs> and unless I shifted this. And then I'm going to take out these light lines. I don't know if you can see them, but I'm going to go ahead and erase them out. That's not a bad looking pair of plotters. I mean, it could be better. I'm not saying that. But it is still a decent. And it's a good contour line. And I'm happy with how fast I was able to follow that. Now granted, I think it would have been far, far better. If I'd done the exercise where I could have gone through each and every one. But I didn't want to keep you doing that. So what I'm going to do is continue doing this coming week. These various abstract wire straight. Where I'm going along and doing the hand-eye coordination practice for eight times. And then I'll put it down and do it on my sheet as well. And take at least five to ten minutes. Come on. Of drawing this. Okay?